day one of the no coffee for a five day challenge and I just automatically went to put the kettle on and put the coffee beans in my mug and then I remembered and it was so sad. So I've got this disappointing mint tea instead. Anyone who knows me will know that I really don't like tea at all. Mint tea is the only tea that's sort of okay. But the thought of drinking it for a week is not appealing at all. I just really feel like I want my coffee to help me wake up, which is why I need to do this challenge because I don't want to feel like I'm relying on coffee to feel awake. It's just so weak. I can do this. It's only morning one. This will get easier. So I've just been on the phone to the bank. I started trying to deal with this last night and it's a little bit stressful and I have not had my coffee and I just got off the phone and I thought I really need a coffee. I just feel much more tired but I don't know if it's actually a physical response to not having caffeine or if it's mental just because every morning for years I have got up and had coffee with my breakfast. And this is why I think I really need to do this challenge because I shouldn't A, if I am genuinely really tired, I need to be getting more sleep and I shouldn't be masking that with caffeine. And B, I shouldn't feel like I need caffeine to wake up. You shouldn't be reliant on something like that. It's only day one of five. We can do this. Not having coffee isn't too bad when you can have a fresh mint tea, I guess. Classy AF. How cute is their study setup? It's like 24 degrees, so definitely outside. I'm just going to make my dinner after track training, and I'd usually have a coffee with dinner, which I realise is very strange to have a caffeinated coffee not long before you go to bed, and that's a big reason I want to do this challenge, is it shouldn't be the case that I'm drinking coffee before I go to bed, that can't be good for me. And I feel like it has no effect on me to drink coffee before I go to bed, which first of all, I'm not sure is true. And secondly, if genuinely it has no effect on me, then that's actually quite worrying. So no coffee with dinner. Day two of no caffeine and I'm just going off to meet a friend for breakfast. I've been up since 6.15 this morning and I really want a coffee. I'm feeling super tired. I don't know if that's because of coffee or not, but I feel like coffee would help me. But we're not giving in to temptation. I think I did get to sleep better last night, but I'm not sure if I actually did or if I'm just telling myself that to make me feel better about this challenge. We'll see. So it's now 7 p.m., day two, no caffeine. I am so tired. I just finished my dinner and I would usually have a coffee with my dinner. I still don't know if it's psychological or actually physical, but I feel like I could go to bed right now. I'm really tempted to go make a coffee, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to power through these five days. I think the first three days are going to be the most difficult and then hopefully this gets easier. But seriously, if you're someone who drinks a lot of coffee, like me, like as in like five cups or more a day, I would recommend trying this out because you don't realise how big an impact coffee has on the way you feel until you stop having it. Don't mind me, just take a nap. Day three, no coffee, we're going strong. I do think I actually got to sleep more quickly last night. Um, I felt super, super tired during the day, but it meant that I was actually asleep by, I think about 10.30 p.m., which basically never happens. I did wake up at two due to banking crisis, but <laughs> that's not coffee's fault or lack of coffee's fault. Uh, I'm feeling really tired again, but I'm trying to remember it is only day three. I'm actually kind of considering 
extending this challenge maybe until Saturday and just having one coffee when I meet a friend on Sunday. I'm not sure. I really want coffee to kind of have an impact on me again. And I just want to totally reduce my reliance on it and just create a situation where I can have one coffee when I wake up and then maybe a coffee when I go out with my friends and that's it. And I don't know if five days will be enough. We'll see. Might get to Saturday and I'll say, done my five days, we're finished. So I have to head to running training in about half an hour and we're doing hill training and it's moments like this where I think a caffeine boost will be really nice. The reason I'm recording and jabbering on so much about this caffeine challenge is that I know I cannot be the only person, student or sports or life, who always says that they drink too much coffee and need to cut down. I'm kind of hoping that you guys can live sort of vicariously through me and see what it's like and see that me as a big coffee lover who finds this quite difficult is managing to power it through and you definitely can too. And hopefully by the end of the week I'll show to you that you can live without it. For example, I met a friend for breakfast today and instead of coffee, we had lemon and uh, lemon tea with a ginger shot in it and that really woke me up. We also had acai bowls. It was very beautiful. I'll insert a picture now. Those of you who follow me on my Instagram, I'm sure there's either a picture up or there'll be a picture going up. I don't need no coffee to get me through this run training. So today is day four of no caffeine and I honestly do think it is getting easier. Right now as I'm studying, I would really like a coffee, especially as I was run racing this morning. So obviously that took out a lot of energy and it was quite hot. So I would quite like a coffee to kind of boost my energy levels a bit just now. But this morning I just got up, made my porridge and I honestly didn't even think about making a coffee. It was quite an early start. I had to be on the train. I had to be at the train station by 10 past 8. And usually I think, oh, early start. Got to get my coffee. And today I realized I really don't need a coffee to help me wake up. My body's perfectly capable of getting itself up without two scoops of instant coffee in it. And that was actually pretty cool. I'm definitely inspired to see if I can carry on doing this for a bit longer and I'm 100% committed to trying to do now one, usually one cup of coffee a day at breakfast and maybe a second one if I go out with friends. I promise you guys, anyone who thinks they're addicted to caffeine, just go cold turkey. I think it's the only way you can do it because for me, I realized that drinking coffee was a habit. That's why I haven't been drinking decaf this week because Coffee just has become my answer and to break that habit I just need to stop having hot drinks whenever you know I feel a bit sleepy or hungry or bored and I think it's a habit that I'm working towards breaking. I'll keep you guys in the loop. So today was supposed to be my last day of no caffeine and I never thought I would say this. But I actually think I'm going to do no coffee tomorrow and maybe Sunday as well. Because this has just really shown me that I don't need coffee. I really don't. I would convince myself that to wake up I needed coffee. And I think it was as much a mental thing as an effect of the caffeine. I have been getting myself out of bed just fine without coffee. And yeah, there's definitely been times I've been tired and I think I really need coffee. But actually, I was perfectly capable of pushing myself through without the caffeine. I think I've also been getting to sleep faster as well. I didn't realize coffee was really having an effect on me, but it was. I mean, I guess you can't drink five to eight sometimes cups of coffee a day and it not have an effect. So I'll be interested to see when I start reintroducing it back into my diet again, if caffeine has some kind of effect on me. Maybe when I have the Monday morning coffee, it will actually make me go, whew, I had a coffee. But I would just highly encourage you, if you guys have watched this video and it's inspired you to do anything, try going cold turkey on coffee. It will be hard to begin with, I know. But I promise you, 
it will be worth it. So it's now Saturday and my no coffee challenge was supposed to finish yesterday, but I actually haven't had any coffee today either. It's probably too early to say that this challenge has been life changing, but it's definitely altered the way I live in the short term by really making me realize I don't actually need coffee at all. It was just a habit. And like all bad habits, you can break them. I'm not saying I'm never going to have coffee again. As I've said earlier in the video, I'm probably going to have one at breakfast, but maybe some days I won't have any at all. I am determined to not slip back into my old habits again. So all those coffee addicts out there, it will be tough, but you can curb your addiction. Ta-ta for now.